Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for instructional purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And I welcome you all to join us in any and all of our free upcoming webinars that we offer here at Pristine. You can see the list that we've got for this coming week as well as a little sample into next week. Uh, but again, you can go to www.pristine.com for that full schedule and uh, I'd love to see you there. Um, absolutely free, no cost. So again, um, any and all that interest you, make sure to register for and we will see you in one of those events. With that, taking a look at the Forex market here, starting in the upper left with Euro US dollar, finally getting a breakout from this range that we've been in for the last several weeks. So at this point now, we can have a more directional bias, uh, which is to the upside at this point. You know, So pullbacks into support should be viewed as long opportunities, whether those are intraday support levels or daily support levels. You're going to want to be looking to get long off of those pullbacks, uh, breakouts, etc. Moving on over to Aussie dollar, US dollar, you can see that this continues to be pretty choppy, uh, overall pretty sloppy, nothing really clean here. So it is weak based on larger time frames, and that's why it's been such a grinder here. Uh, bottom line is you're just going to have to play within this this intraday volatility because there is no strong directional bias from a longer term perspective what i would like to see is the break of some support on the daily to really start getting this more decisively moving lower until then i think it's just going to stay pretty choppy from a daily point of view and then new zealand dollar us dollar here in the bottom or I'm sorry, in the upper right, you can see that this one also had a had a nice little breakout here. It's pulling back into the moving average, which might offer some support. Uh, this one could definitely move higher, but overall, it, it's still a bit vulnerable based on larger time frames. So uh, I'm going to be sticking more towards focusing on intraday support and resistance and and playing those levels. And if it's looking good, you know, you can always hold it. Uh, overnight or into the overnight session and then if it starts to behave in a way that you don't necessarily like you can of course get out which is one of the nice things about forex um, not not exposed or vulnerable to any gaps so again if if it's acting and behaving in the way that you like you can just hold on and stick with it until it breaks a, a pivot or what have you whatever your management rules tell you uh, in the bottom right, U.S. dollar yen, you can see this here has fallen quite a bit, given back all of the previous gains that had been had in the in the weeks leading up. And so at this point, looks like it will just continue to move lower. It's just got to break this this bottoming tail, which really isn't that significant. So we'll look for that to happen here uh, this coming week and in price to continue moving lower. So. If you get a good daily setup, you can certainly look to get involved on a swing basis or just play the intraday trends. And, and again, if it looks good, hold on. Moving on over to the bottom middle chart here, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. This one has broken some daily support, which suggests it's now going to move down to uh, weekly support. And you'll find that down, down in this area here. So... This retracement we're getting into some resistance should offer us a good a good area to start looking at getting short. And if that happens, we could get a lower high on our way down to that weekly support I noted. So that's what I'll be looking for here over the coming days. And again, focused on getting involved with this on an intraday basis. And then finally, you, um, you've got the pound U.S. dollar here in the bottom left and this one also broke out last week. It's started to pull back into this breakout area. So that's going to offer some support. But that being said, the, the larger time frames have been damaged. They are weak. So it's going to be interesting to see here how much demand really shows up versus is this going to be 
where sellers drive this all the way back down into the middle or lower part of the the range which would suggest even greater weakness and the potential for a price to move lower so those are some of the things i'll be watching for and and interested to see but as always if you get a good intraday trend setting up then then get involved with it and if it's behaving well depending again on your management you could of course just hold on and and let it continue to to pay you but these are the things that we're going to want to be watching for this week. These are the levels that we're going to be paying attention to. And certain pairs, of course, as always, look better than others. But that's why we do this analysis. That's why we look across multiple pairs to see where the cleanest and best opportunity will, will be found. Uh, so again, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully I see you in one of our upcoming webinars. But uh, until the next time, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can receive alerts on future videos. But in the meantime, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident.